वेलकम टू माय चैनल जाहनवीज बायोलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मोनोहाइब्रिड क्रॉस इन दिस मोनोहाइब्रिड क्रॉस वी आर टेकिंग द पी प्लांट्स ऑफ टू टाइप्स हैविंग गैमेट्स और जीनोटाइप कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी एंड स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी इज होमोजाइगस टॉल प्लांट एंड स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी इज होमोजाइगस डिवार्फ प्लांट एज दीज आर होमोजाइगस प्लांट्स we are getting only one type of gamete from each plant from homozygous stalk we are getting capital t and from homozygous dwarf we are we are getting small t so that we will get in f1 generation the progeny will be capital t small t this is heterozygous tall in condition in heterozygous nature also we are getting capital t small t as tall condition which is a homozygous tall Uh, in capital T, capital T. So capital T is uh, considered as dominant trait uh, on the small t, which is dwarf character. So T is considered as dominant. Now to get the F two generation, we are going to self between F one generation plants. Now we here we are taking the parents of two parents of F one generation. capital t small t and capital t small t these both are in heterozygous condition so we are getting two types of gametes from both the parents one is capital t and another one is small t as the parents are in heterozygous condition we are getting two gametes now we are using apunet square method because to know the maximum possible progeny we are getting from it Punnett square is the squaring ma square method, which is uh, discovered by Ronald Punnett. So that this uh, method is uh, given by his name, Punnett square. From this, we know that we are taking the both the parents gametes from two sides of the square, and we are combining combining the gametes of both the squ square to get in that box to get in the box. so we are getting capital t capital t capital t small t capital t small t and small t small t from f2 generation now in f2 generation we will get three types capital t capital t capital t small t and small t small t uh, progeny so from this we will get the phenotypic and genotypic ratio phenotypic ratio means the ratio given on the morphological character we see in the plants phenotypic ratio will be 3 is to 1 because in heterozygous condition and in homozygous condition the capital t will be given as tall condition so capital t capital t is tall capital t small t is also tall and small t small t is dwarf so we are getting 3 is to 1 ratio in phenotypic ratio and in genotypic ratio means it is based on the gene genotype which is present in the plant so in this we are getting 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio because capital t capital t capital t small t small t small t are there are three types of genotypes and so that we are getting 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio this is overall the monohybrid cross done by mendel thank you for watching this video